In this Blender video editing tutorial I will show you how to add a freeze frame to a video clip. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Blender. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I brought this clip into the timeline and I've also set it up to um, play with proxy clips, that's why it looks a bit pixely up here. Um, if you've never used Blender or you're looking for an editor that uh, works a lot faster, uh, proxy clips are phenomenal when it comes to some of the other uh, video editors. So this is how quickly I can scan through this uh, video using proxies anyway. Get to the position that you want to create a freeze frame. So let's say I wanted to create a freeze frame here. Now make sure that you don't move the marker. And for ease, I'm just going to come up to render. Left click on render. And you can either use the shortcut control F12. Sorry, F12, forget control F12. But what you need to make sure is that you render the image, not render animation. So left click on render image. And you should end up with a full definition image. Um, it'll be in PNG as default, and that's perfectly fine for a video. Now, you'll need to left click on image and then go to save as and give it a title or not I don't have anything on my desktop I don't think so I can leave this as untitled although you could call it something else so it's in my desktop it's going to go into my desktop I'll leave it as untitled and I'll just left click save as image now close this, close this viewer down and this is where you don't want to move your marker. If you press K for cut and then just select the two end sections and then grab them out the way. I always with Blender give myself more at the end. Um, if you've ever used Blender you know normally it's the default setting for an end is 250 frames. I always just chuck a load in. This is set right now at 1000. So anyway we've moved this out the way and next thing is to navigate your way to the folder where you saved your image. Drag the image into the timeline and just snap it up to the marker. Now this by default will probably be about 25 frames long and this is actually set up at 25 frames per second so I've only got a second here so I'm going to just drag this out to make it a bit longer and select these two grab them so that they snap up I won't go into the shortcuts and let's just play this through and that will do I think. Anyway you get the idea you can adjust this to however long you want. You can also go into the properties of the clip as well somewhere down here on the strip but I won't go into that. And the only other thing is just I'll need to obviously get to the end point and match up this looking like 524 to the end so I don't render a load of blackness at the end of it um, and that's all there is to it really very simple especially using proxy clips I won't go into rendering um, like I said at the beginning I assume you've got some knowledge of um, editing in Blender so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers